The pick was bad. They've made some good picks. The pick was bad. Move on. Move on. Not that's before it's too late. It's three games in. In some way, move on or, or start the process of moving on if he's not the guy, which I'm pretty sure he's not. Boy, Laverne is cold as hell with his best friend, Wayne Krebet. Hey, buddy, how you doing today after that victorious day yesterday we had out there on the green grass? Oh, yeah. Nice, man. Nice day yesterday. <laughs> Sitting in the rain. I was like, you know what, today at this game, I'm going to sit in, in, the, in the stands with everybody uh, just to get a better look at the field and be around the fans. And uh, it's, it's interesting, you know, sitting out there with the uh, – with the fans, and, and it was very tough to watch. Uh, certainly a game I think we uh, could have and should have won. But um, again, we're sitting here uh, having a lot of questions about some of the decisions that have been made uh, on the first and all of the team. What, what's your feeling? What did you see? I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Right now, everybody's wanting to, to switch quarterbacks. I get it. There's a lot of blame to go around on the offensive side of the football. The defense is playing well very well even though it doesn't look like it but when you look at the number of snaps that they're out there and the three and outs that we're having our defense is spending a lot of time on that field and eventually something is going to break down when your offense isn't giving you time to rest so now we have to ask ourselves what do we do Uh, the panic button is on we 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 had a healthy scratch of a first round pick uh last week of our of the defensive end uh that we picked in the first round mcdonald where we could have helped ourselves in the draft by getting the offensive lineman to help this team out. And you have your, your starting tackle going uh, IR, and then you move Mekhi Beckton over the left tackle. And here we are again. He's on skates in the first four plays of the game. So what do you ask this young kid to do after seeing your tackle get pushed in your lap after the first four plays? Finish up a football game, be productive, and be happy about everything that's going on around you. So. Let's get it tackled in this show. Maybe you got some answers I don't have, but, brother, I, I'm scratching my head. Again, I love the defense offensively. I said it's going to be a struggle from the start, but maybe you got something different there because I'm, I'm tired of, as you say, beating a dead horse. Maybe you got something different. We tried to run the ball, too, so what else can we do? <laughs> like I said, I, I was there. I stayed the whole game to the end because I kind of still believed we had a chance or defense would score or – Gibson will run him back. So, like, this morning, I'm thinking to myself, um, you know, I want to be happy. So, I'm in my uh, closet looking for my jet skier to wear like we do. And I uh, came across this 87 bad boy. This 87 bad boy. Your game jersey. Your game jersey. <laughs> I'm not going to pan down a little bit. A little 87. And That's two things I realized. One... This bad boy is snug. <laughs> this thing is tight. And your boy's thinking, like, two things I got to do. One, I have to stop eating, maybe for like a month straight. Uh, I have to stop eating sugar and this and that. And, and two, I'm like, I have to stop defending these decisions that are being made. Um, obviously, we agree offense line wasn't, you know, uh, addressed, right? We, we talked about that. But two, I can't. I can't look like an ass defending these decisions because uh, I'm, I'm on the way home and I hear, you know, Coach Sala, who I'm a fan of, obviously, Joe Douglas, uh, saying Zach Wilson gives us the best chance to win. Out of what, two people? Him and Tim Boyle? <laughs> and then I think I hear, like, uh, nothing's going to change that Tim Boyle will get zero reps with the first team. Uh, we're sticking with Zach. Matt Ryan called. Carson Wentz called. They want to come in. And they say, no, thank you. We are with uh, happy what we got. So, yeah, stop eating and stop agreeing with the decisions. This is not right. This is not right keeping him at a quarterback. And I'm sick of it, man. Dude, I ate like 15 cookies at the game yesterday. Stress eating and like having comfort food, man. I, I can't do it anymore. I can't defend I like these decisions. This is a version of Star Wars right here. What? Look at this, man. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> Welcome to the dark side. I'm always the bad guy. I'm coming over where you at, buddy. That is what, hey, welcome to the dark side. But you 
hundred percent correct, man. How do you continue to to support something and get behind something when they're not trying to give you an answer or any way out of the debacle that they're in? I mean, no. you're still dealing with the same situation you was in before. You you ran the ball on first down yesterday in the first half continuously. I knew sitting here on the couch here in Jacksonville that they were running the ball. Yeah. Tony Romo calling the game was like, could you throw the ball at least one time on first down? Everybody right. understands right. oh, you're running the ball. Help your team or give your quarterback a chance to be some type of way productive on first down. And then right. run it on second down. Once they started doing that at the top of the fourth quarter, the ball started moving at least a little bit. I think there was in the first half, I got the notes right. There was negative yards at some point during the game. Then there was one of eight on third down in the first half. One of eight. We could have got out there and helped them be one of eight. Right. It doesn't yeah. take rocket science to figure out how to – my TV kept cutting itself off every time the offense got on the field. That's how bad it was. I don't know what was happening. I'm like, what What, what did I miss? And then you have Zach Wilson on first and tw- second and 12, third and 15, and you want him to be a hero? No. This man had people in his lap from the beginning of the game. He's been pressured on 44% of his dropbacks. Granted, he don't get a hall pass. He's not doing anything well. But this is the thing I'm going to give you, and I'm going to tell you, give it back to me. If I had him go stand in New York, Manhattan traffic, right, rush hour, <laughs> and tell him, hey, man, dodge cars for me for a minute. And then I threw at him, hey, buddy, I need you to read the license plate of each vehicle that go by because we're looking for some kids. And it, which, after the first bump will touch him, what you think he's going to do? He ain't paying attention to the, to the license plate no more. He focused on the traffic coming at him. Give the kid a break. He is getting blitzed and blitzed and blitzed with them rushing four. How you rush four people and somebody's in your lap every time? I remember uh, when we was playing, they said the only thing that really bothered Tom Brady was people coming up the middle, pushing the pocket, and people sitting in his lap. This kid is gun shy. If you put me back, then I get hit in my face a couple times. I don't care about what uh, Garrett doing on the outside or how open he is. I'm staring down like, oh, I'm not getting hit this time. Uh, oh, okay, now I need to see what I got to do. I ain't running for my life, man. So we have to figure this whole thing out. And our offensive coordinator didn't help him at all. There was no move in the pocket. There was no rollouts. There was there was no stretch plays to get play action off of a boot song. We're still running the same offense as if Aaron was in there. He's not there, and he's not walking through that door anytime soon. So, how do we fix a problem that they're not trying to fix if they're going to stick with the guy they want to stick with? Maybe they they need to get one. What they should do, I'm gonna give you a good get another good one. Allow some of these people that play Madden to call some of the plays. That'll help us out. Some some Madden users out there, we need y'all to come in and and be Mr. Hackett for about a series, and I guarantee y'all probably do better than what he's doing with Zach. Dude, like you said, it's decisions and stuff like that. Zach Wilson should not be that quarterback. And I've, I've like, defended him. I'm always like, maybe he got better. Maybe he'll he'll be better. Uh, I'll get into hack it in a second. But just being there at the game and seeing everything unfold. Um, listen, I'm not running the right plays. I'm looking. And on the outside, there's single coverage. Single coverage. I mean, you could run so many... I'm thinking, why not just throw one up? You know how it used to throw it up to you? You make a play, maybe a pass interference. You would never let him intercept it. There's none of that. There's no stretch in the field. There's no fear. Um, you know, Hackett, he, he's calling the plays that were made for Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Zach Wilson is not that guy. It was good when they did, like, a no huddle. Uh, not too hurry up because Belichick couldn't put in substitutions. He couldn't make adjustments and stuff like that. Um, it, it's just frustrating being there, but you know, the Johnson family gave those guys an open checkbook. He's willing to do whatever needs to be done to bring guys in now, uh, to win the team because the team, you know, the time to win is now. Uh, but they, they haven't done it. I mean, to hear that Matt Ryan and Wentz, they, you know, their, their past wanted to come here. Uh, to say no, uh, you have two quarterbacks in the whole roster. Bring someone in for the practice squad to learn the system. Bring a vet in. Um, Zach, I know you're defending Zach more than me. It's not He's not that guy, dude. I don't care. I don't, I don't think you know, I don't care. I, it just, I don't, he's not that guy. 
I don't think he's the pro- just the problem either. You got other issues. No, no, not at all. So, so he's I don't think bringing in Carson Wentz or Matt Ryan is going to solve your problem. I, again, I don't care who you put back there. If they're not protecting, remember, they are getting pressured every drop back. Yeah. Every drop back. Not everyone. If you're at the game, you see there's guys open, wide open. Yeah. Like you don't see it on the TV. I'm there. You see guys like it's like just throw it, and he's waiting. I'm like all right, just throw it now, and he's waiting. Like for you don't take a sa- uh, a safety at that point in a game. You know, on f- fourth and ten, you throw a three yard route. Listen, that rat that play doesn't matter. What they called on fourth and ten. I don't care. Don't throw it to a guy three yards and expect throw it to somebody. Throw it to anybody just to give you a chance. That's on Zach. That's not on Hackett. That's one hundred percent on Zach to not try to make a player giving the receiver an opportunity to get that first down. He's been standing in traffic and Manhattan rush out. I don't care, dude. Fourth and ten. I don't care if he's concussed, if the sun I don't care what it is. Fourth and ten, don't throw a three hour dude. Yeah, I'm sitting there, like I can't watch this. This is so bad to watch. Wentz, Ryan, boy, anybody well, else but Zach Wilson yesterday, and they win that game. I promise okay. you, well, if, if we you need, were there, you would agree with me. If we need 10 yards, why is it tied in at three yards then? Everybody else was past 10 yards. Why are you throwing I mean, that guy? It was barely open. The point I'm making is, yeah, man. if you need 10, why is he running a three-yard route? It has a lot it's to do not, with it. It has a lot to do with it. Like I said, I'm not defending that. I mean, I'm I'm waiting on him to do it. Him. No, you're no. Defending I'm saying he's just him. not the problem. He's just he's just not the problem by himself. He's 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 horrible. I can't even okay. throw a football. And he's me playing left-handed. So that tells you how bad he is. I get it. I'm with you. But he is not the problem alone. We have to look at all the circumstances that are around him right now that are allowing him to be this bad. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He is this yeah. bad for a reason. Offense line. Good. Yeah. Offense line. You said earlier than me, I was like, you know, they patch it up, they make it work. Nah. Quarterback. Hey. And then the play calling. The play okay. calling for Zach Wilson is not putting him in a uh, position to succeed like he can. But just being there and seeing guys running naked and – him not, you know, throwing it at all or on time or late. It's just that adds to the problem. Uh, this, let's... Is, this is what we did. This is what we did with our offensive line. Just like my one of my vehicles. I had four bad tires on one of my vans, right? I had four <laughs> I like bad tires. Line. You know what? I'm going to get this taken care of. So I took it to this place up the street, Tire Kingdom, and all they did was rotate the tires. They rotated all four of them for me and balanced them so make sure everything was straight. I still had four bad tires. No matter how you put it, it was going to be bad. I don't care if you put left tackle to guard, guard to simple. You still got four bad ties. Not four, but four. <laughs> that is what they're dealing with right now. They got a yeah. bad offensive line. You got a bad quarterback. And you're trying to make this thing work. And then you want people to sit around here and eat these bad mashed potatoes that you done put together <laughs> for us. It's not good. I don't care. They've <laughs> been potatoes been sitting over there for, on the counter for a year. And now you done got everybody hyped up because you bought in number eight. And I think if he was back there, it would be worse because he doesn't have the legs that he used to have to be able to get out of pressure, uh, get away from the pressure that's coming right now. So, no, nothing is going to change. And if you bring in Matt Ryan, then you got another statue standing back there. You need to bring in somebody that can run, that's a tank, and that can do something with the football to help this team. So, with all that being said, I gave the offense a Z. Mm -hmm. I gave him a Z+. Cause I, I, I they, don't, they don't even deserve the grading scale no more. I gave them Z, Z plus. They got Z plus for yesterday. And this is the first time my TV has ever cut itself off. Every time the offense got on the field, they fig- it figured I could be doing something else. They said, take a nap while they out there because they will. I cut back on when when the game starts up. That's basically what happened. Yeah, uh, fourteen minutes seven seconds for the food. Uh... Food pun, bad mashed potatoes. <laughs> you could have came up with a lot of different foods, but uh, yeah, you say uh, it, it switches off, come back on, come back on. I'm in the coaches club, so there's food. I go down, 
get some uh, some cookies, and then I come up with like, what happened? Oh, we won three and I punted. You know, next quarter I went down, got some cookies, came up. What happened? Nothing. Punted. Interception. It's like. I feel bad for this defense, dude. I feel so bad for this defense because they're playing. They're giving up plays, but they're playing, giving up threes. Uh, we're not getting the turnovers, obviously, but they are going to have to score. Uh, and I don't, I don't know what they could do next week against KC. But and, and the Dolphins putting up seventy. I haven't seen that since like you know we I played uh, <laughs> a long time ago. Them Dolphins was the one, the, the fifth. But yeah. we'll get to that later on. But Kansas City coming to town, the, the only hope is uh, Mahomes and Kelsey missed the plane. I'm just going to tell you how it happened. That's all they can hope for. Right now, that they just them guys out with Taylor Swift, and they have an event they go to in Vegas, and they ha- doing something different and just say, you know what, they don't need us. We'll, 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 we'll let the other guys deal with it. We have guys that we even got from Kansas City, McCole Hartman, who they bought in that was supposed to be our speed guy. The guy has probably played, he's played less snaps than me. And we sitting here talking about the game. These are guys that they bought in to be playmakers, to stretch the field. This is the worst, the worst job of using weapons that I've seen since, let me see, I ain't going to talk about food no more. We'll talk about my culinary set I got in this kitchen. I got, I got the best set of knives that you could think of. And then I don't even use them to chop up my onions and all that other good stuff. I just a lot you got this thing that I just put the onions in and press it down and it dices them all up. So we went and got McCole Hart and the BI deep thread, our gadget guy, and he stands on the sideline and drink more Gatorade Gatorade than me during the game. Dude. Come on, man. You said it. Oh my God. That's it. There's no gadget plays. It's just no. it's just bullshit. It's just bull. No. Like the same stuff. I know what they're doing. Fans know what they're doing. You don't think the other team knows what they're doing? It was um, calling out their plays. You can hear him on TV, bro. Oh, it's coming their way. Going their way. If the dude yeah. on the defense know exactly where you're going, help <laughs> me help you change the play. Like, <laughs> I do a coach it's like the sideline. It's like us on the sideline, you know, at, at this point, and uh, you know, we yell something out. We hear the fans say, "Hey." Watch the draw. <laughs> Watch the draw. <laughs> <laughs> Play action. Play action. And it's like, yeah, Hardman. Uh, what about Gibson putting that kid in there doing something? But there's no, there's no stacks. I mean, you know, there's no trip. The trio. Like, you know, we used to line up. You know, I'd be at the point. You'd be outside. You mean Santana? We'd stack outside and confuse. It's confusing. Who got it? There's no like. There's no motion, no motion, no, like, you know, for, for, for people to know, like, we go a little motion. If the guy follows us, we know it's man. If he lets us go, the zone on the other side, there's no, like, anything to help Zach to see. Is this man, is this zone, are they blitzing, who's the hot route? There's, there's no creativity. All right, LC, it is time for the get with our friends at my bookie, And for the week ahead, we're facing the Chiefs. Uh, we have two of the same props the Chiefs had versus the Bears this weekend. The first one is the Chiefs over under 30 uh, and a half points. Uh, what's your feeling on that one, LC? All right. Is the Chiefs by themselves going to score 30 or are you talking about together with the Jets? I'm confused. Which one? It, it doesn't matter. We so Say we have zero. Will they score over 30 and a half points? <laughs> mm. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I, I would say yes. Because our offense keep our defense out there too much. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the over. Yeah, it's it's a tough one. Like I said, we've given up a lot of points. Um, and this team could score. Uh, another one. This is interesting. Travis Kelsey over under six and a half catches. I, I'll start with this one. Just watching him over the years and what he could do. Uh, he's basically like a receiver out there. Um, my feeling is just looking, I was at the game seeing how they were coverage in, in 85 and the other tight ends were loose a lot. So I do think he'll have more than six and a half catches. You, I'm going to go against it because everybody in the world know Travis Kelsey is his number one option. So I would assume that our coaches would try to take him away. So I'm going to go under. I don't know. Like I said, uh, I'm shocked about, uh, how the defense has played, you know, especially against tight ends and our bonus question uh, from production, and this was what they're asking at my bookie: Will Taylor Swift be at MetLife? 
And more importantly, will I get a selfie with her? Uh, it looks like she'll be there. It looks like, uh, you know, he kind of found her way into his heart going to the, her concert out there in our head. As far as me getting a selfie with her, I will try because I'm not afraid to admit that I am a Taylor Swift fan. <laughs> I'm going to say no. She's not going to show up for that boring game. Let me tell you something. My TV, every time the Jets was on offense, cut itself off. That's how boring it was. So she could sit home and wait till Travis get back to wherever he going to be at, whether it's wherever she is or back to Kansas City. But she don't make this trip because she don't want to be a part of this <laughs> mess and debacle that we have going on in New York. So she stays where she is. I'm going to say no. Okay. So you don't get to stuff either. <laughs> no. All right, you can go on with the rest of our uh, my bookie head. This season has my bookie a no strings attached cash bonus that lets you deposit and withdraw quick. Use promo code 3013 on a deposit of $50 or more, and you can receive up to $200 in cash instantly on your MyBookie account. Bet your deposit amount once, and you're ready to cash out at any time. Again, that's promo code 3013 to claim your cash deposit bonus. You can bet anything, anytime, anywhere, only with MyBookie. And I tell you what, that kid from New England, that cornerback, oh my God, he is the real deal. Which one? He, uh, number six, I believe his number was. He was locked up on um, Garrett yesterday all day. He is the re This kid here, if he can stay healthy, and I'm not jinxing him, he will have a gold jacket. He will be all pro. That is how well this kid played yesterday. They hit a home run picking that kid, and I watched him play in, play out, mirror Garrett, and I'm talking about shut him down and was in his pocket the entire time. So when you get a kid like that over there that's mirroring your best player and 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 was I'm talking about in his back pocket. Yeah, I was gonna say I looked it up. We got number six, Christian Gonzalez. 6'2, 205, uh 21 years old, rookie out of Oregon and I'm mad for looking this up because they just gonna give me a subscription to New England Patriots newsletter. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, young kid, man, young kid, and uh, six two. I mean, that's that's good size. Yeah, but you don't you they got to see him twice a year for the rest yeah. of his career. Well, you know, the Patriots probably ain't gonna pay him, but. Maybe we could steal him and have him go on the other side. Ooh, of sauce. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh boy. You talking about something. Ooh, that boy, that is the real deal. I'm trying to take. So, I, I, all right, I'm getting excited again. But they shut our offense down, which I di didn't expect anything different. Our defense, of course, showed up, played well. Always going to give us a chance. But for us to actually win a game, like I always say, our defense got to score a touchdown. They had their hands on a couple balls they should have picked off that they didn't cash in on. So defense, you did an amazing job as usual, week in, week out, holding people to that magical number. I think they scored 16, 15 points. And our offense just can't muster up 18 to 21 points to get a victory. So I gave defense their norm. They get they get they get a B minus B B because they didn't pick the ball off, but they, they play well. They're, they're pressuring the quarterback, getting to him with four they're on the field so much because they, and they're not getting any rest. And they got their offense going three and out. They gave up a couple big plays, which is uncharacteristic of our defense. But it's a long football game. Eventually, something's going to break free when you on the field as much as our defense yeah. is going to be. Give me your feelings, brother. Yeah. Um, yeah, obviously, B- minus is the right grade there. Um, you know, And they're going to have to score. And you know what? They didn't give up a point in the second half, I don't think. You know, Zach gave up the uh, safety. That was two. That's not on them. Uh, wow. Field position, you know, they're in a tough spot all the time. Um, making plays. I don't know what happened on that play action long touchdown. What the, um, I couldn't tell because I didn't see a replay. Uh, DJ Reed didn't play great. Whitehead didn't play great. But they kind of like pick each other up. You know, Quincy Williams is flying around, you know. They're almost getting to Mac Jones, uh, but I'm looking, you know, we usually go next. Uh, the MVP of the game is Morstead, the punter. This guy was doing whatever he could to, to, to help out. This is an A. 
You know what I mean? That that guy is 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 a weapon as good as the defense. Um, yeah. But yeah, you know, one broken play for the defense. Other than that, though, they're standing firm. They're keeping us in the game. And uh, you know what? It's it's like remember when we played? We kind of just sit there. You rest when uh they're on, you know we don't have the ball. It's the kind of thing we would stand on the sideline to watch this defense play. It's it's that impressive to watch uh, these guys fly around and uh, yeah. I'm I'm obviously a big fan of the defense. And if, the defense if we were defense. playing, we could stand and watch. This yeah. offense we have, they don't need to be standing and watch. They need to be over there looking at, trying to figure out what the heck is going on, talking to uh, Mr. Hackett to figure something out. Because yeah, dude, every quarterback, I, yeah, every quarterback I ever played with had, you know, immediately they had the. <laughs> You know, they have uh, tablets now. These tablets, they look at it, iPads. You know, also it was like the little black and white, uh, you know, aerial shots. Everybody be looking, studying this and that. Zach's just sitting there. Hey, you know, they're not doing nothing. No adjustments. No, you, don't you think it would help to look at these? Be like, oh, that guy's over there. That guy's over there. There's none of that, man. No adjustments. He's too busy making sure they got his, his bandana iron. He's making sure his bandana ain't got no no wrinkles in it, you know, making sure everything's straight. Huh? That's him, boy. You know, I don't care about no football. <laughs> he like, Somebody I'm, said I'm he, uh, I saw a picture. Um, listen, Zach Wilson, I've met him. He's a good kid, kind of kid, you know, we want to root for. Uh, and, you know, Jory's almost out on uh, what it is, but they posted a picture of him next to uh, Olivia Newton John. <laughs> She used to wear that white <laughs> And I'm like, people are mean, dude. And I'm like, thank God they didn't have social media when uh, when I played. I can't imagine some of the things they have about me, but uh, you can't get away with nothing. I feel bad for him. Uh, we have I, we I, have destroyed I, I, him. I like, listen, listen, I, I, you I, know, don't, I don't this feel dude bad. Has no count. Yeah, I know you don't, man, I, but... I He's living the dream. He's playing quarterback for the New York Jets. He has his head coach supporting him. He had a city shaking his hand when he walked into the game yesterday. Everybody, he's dapping fives, and you're getting booed as you're come as as you're playing football. But you're still being supported by your coach and your organization. I don't feel bad for you. You you, you actually living. You living right. You're doing something good because you're yeah. still in the building, and they ain't ran you out of the city yet. So he's doing good. Because had yeah, we put I, up this type of performance that he's put up, brother, <laughs> we wouldn't be sitting here doing this show right now. I can tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm there. And just the booing, every time the booing. And I'm like, I feel bad for this kid. I played on some bad teams. This isn't one of those teams. But, like, yeah. Coach Sal is showing confidence in the kid, leaving him here. Joe Douglas is showing confidence. That's what you want. I agree with that. I agree We're with the Johnson bringing people in. I don't agree with them not bringing someone in to back them up. You know, Zach Wilson's plan B. Just They have no plan C. That's my only problem. There's no one there just in case to know the system in case something happens. Just bring someone in. Bring one guy in. Somebody. Cause it can't be him, Tim Boyle, and then Randall Cobb. That's... That's my biggest problem what with in case what they're something. doing. Just bring someone else in. If that's the quarterback, that's fine. But bring someone in. But you said in case something happened. It's already happened. Something no, I mean, happened. they're sticking with them. They said they're sticking with them. That's the decision. But what if something happens to him? Like you said, he's dodging cars, man. And I see it. And, and listen, they're booing him no matter what. And it's not his fault all the time. Obviously, the, the, you know, the line is, is not good. But uh, I just want them to have a plan just in case. Just in case he, you know, quarterbacks were getting hurt last year with this line. Mike Flacco, you know, punctured lungs and probably didn't move his spleen. But just have a plan, plan C. That's it. That's all I want is a plan C. If you want to stick with that, that's your choice. But have an option just in case. But you're so, but you're being so negative right now. I just that's just uncharacteristic of you. Why are you being negative? It's tough, it's man. They shouldn't waste a year with this good defense and these young guys, man. Like I said, if they want to they, stick with them, that's their choice. But don't they? They, they don't have a backup. Progress the offensive line. This this season was 
done when the offensive line wasn't addressed. We're going to go back to the four bad tires again? Do I have to go back to that story? Do it's, you're not right. going to change. it's not going to change. I don't care who they bring in or what they do. They should they they should go to the option. Maybe the option is a good 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 thing. Or go call Georgia Tech and, help, and have them come teach them the wishbone. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> what they running ain't gonna cut it. All right. Yeah. With Dude, that they line, need like some crazy something. They gotta run some something like pick plays cross to any. <laughs> what, what, grade did you get, what grade did you get? a coaches? I'm curious to hear this. No, it's tough because every week. It's like you got the offense here. I mean, the defense here and the offense here. What do we do? Meet in the middle? No, I don't. What, I'm good. What grade did you give the coaches? I give the offense. I mean, the coaching C minus based on how good the defense coordinator is and how bad uh, the offense coordinator is. I don't blame Salah for all this. I blame the play call. And the, the you know the decisions that are made. But the, the defense plays so good, but the offense just brings it down every week. I can't. I can't. I don't know if I'll ever be able to give a higher grade based on how bad this offense is going to be. I, I gave Coach an F. Gave it an yeah. F. It's yeah. failure. It's total failure. No. Listen, total failure. the way the defense is playing, uh, you know, it, not for that one play. Um, you know, it's they give up even less. So I, I mean, the defensive coaches, the defensive coordinators, it's carrying this team right now. Uh, like I said, it, as far as the game, I think they would have won with anybody else. They but, should have carried me to the bar yesterday, then, because that's what I was doing, I, and bought me back home. Because that's they, they they are totally failing us right now, top to bottom. Yeah. And see, I, yeah. I couldn't say this early because everybody was so excited about this team that we had put together, and it was like a rock star in training camp was, had shown up, and everything was just great. Now, yeah, now everybody like, well, they calling for Zach's head, honestly. To be fair to him, I hope they put somebody else out there so that they can see that it just ain't him. That would be if they could find somebody to go stand behind that 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 leaky wall they got up in front of this kid. Put him out there and let them uh, figure this out. That it ain't just the kid; it has a lot to do with the play calling and his offensive line. So again, yeah. that's why, I'm like you know what, it's a total failure. From top to bottom offense, they failed these guys when they didn't use a pick to get an offensive line and to shore up this offensive line in the offseason or get somebody, a free agent or something to come help out. Yeah. This is what that, they that's are. What this is that's what, what I'm saying. Continue. Yeah. Listen, when we when we did these shows before the season started, Aaron Rodgers, all that stuff, that's a distant memory. And uh, <laughs> I talk and I'm positive. I'm positive. Uh <laughs> I'm not a realist. I'm not a realist. <laughs> I'm an optimist. Yeah, you're real. And that's the thing. You're right. I'm trying my best. But I couldn't. At that point, I didn't want to think, you know, I'm like, we're going undefeated. AC. And I. that's how I was because I was hoping. But as I see, you know, it's factual evidence. Watch the game. Watch the film. Uh, listen to this, this, and that. It's factual. I can be negative now. Oh. I was positive before because this is. I want to believe they did what they, they, they did what they can do, um, but I have to say they didn't because I've seen it. This is there's like proof of it. You know the Niners did what they do to bring in Trey Lance. It didn't work out. I know he got hurt. It didn't work out, and they moved him. They admitted they made a mistake. They have to admit that they didn't bring the right offensive line, which is factual, and they have to admit that Zach's not the guy. The pick was bad. They've made some good picks. The pick was bad. Move on. Move on. Not that's before it's too late. It's three games in. In some way, move on or, or start the process of moving on if he's not the guy, which I'm pretty sure he's not. But, well, I, I get that, but help me understand this. If he's not the guy and your offensive line ain't going to get any better, where do you go? What do you do? You gotta do both. You gotta find. You gotta make moves for alignment. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter who who you put back there. I do think these guys would give a better chance. It's not winning the game. These guys eliminating mistakes that Zach made. If you bring someone that can eliminate the mistakes, but play just average with that defense, they can win. Someone who can just not mess it up. 
with these with interceptions and not making plays and taking safeties and throwing bad passes. Just someone that could perform average with that defense, they'll be okay until they could sort it out next offseason, next draft um, to improve on that. Just someone right now and some improvement, I think they can win games. So you think Real, realistically, I'm being realistic. I'm, 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 so changing quarterbacks right now will be helpful. Yeah, someone who can just eliminate the mistakes. He didn't make any mistakes yesterday. yesterday. He didn't throw Dude. any picks. There was he no interception. Nah, but he didn't make he, mistakes. He cost the game. He didn't throw three picks and all of this nah. stuff. He managed the game well, in my opinion. Dude, you know, if you were there, you you wouldn't agree. When you see guys open. And he's looking. I mean, he's looking at him, and he's not throwing it. They was pointing it out on the telestrator on TV about how guys are open. But again, I'm going to put you in that New York traffic. And you're going to dodge cars or tell me to tag plates. Which one you going to do? You're going you gonna to figure out. You're going to start dodging the cars. You don't care nothing about them license plates going by. Man. You got to give the kid some help. Help the kid out, man. So I ain't going to continue to be the dead horse. I'm just thankful we had the opportunity to watch a game and I continue to be right. Even in the off season where people tell me how grumpy I am and how I'm hating and I ain't, you know, Vernon is just always mad. And I, no, buddy. I told you this, this, I told you to play before it happened a long time ago with whoever's going to be back there. So <laughs> they start are, listening. Yeah. We are um, beating the, beating the hell out of that horse. <laughs> we did well, 33 minutes uh, 32 and a half of Zach Wilson. <laughs> Sorry, I Jack, hate this, dude. I hate this. I hate these conversations. If this is making me hate, hate you, dude, you, you hurt me right here. You hurt me. How, how right you are, uh, how funny you are about it. Uh, comic relief makes me feel better. It makes my Monday better, but, uh, we got to do something, dude. You know, you talk to him. I don't. I don't know. You. You. You know what needs to be done. I just. Uh, I'm riding your coattails, man. What I can tell you is, just changing quarterbacks ain't gonna be the answer. So fans, we're looking for you guys to help us out because I've told you what I feel needs to be done. So we need you guys to send us some messages so that we can get back on him and hopefully reach the ears of some of these important people that's making these decisions up in the front office. Because evidently, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but I'm always right. So here we go again. We'll deal with this later on. I love you, brother. Good talking to you. And hopefully they, they get some linemen and some people in there to help them out this week. All right, I love you too, buddy. Take care.